we bring you Diamond Dynasty action between the Kansas City Royals and the Bulls. It's baseball. It's the show, and, and now, it comes your, your way next. 2021 Duro Bulls. And now, Nicky Lopez. He will lead this one off today. Off the, Warriors, the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there. 0 and 1. Pitch, one Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the third base here with a lead. -off. Third base here with a leadoff triple. Batting second, the third baseman, Adalberto. Mondesi. Into the box now, Adalberto Mondesi. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next one two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Digging in now for Kansas City, Salvador That's Perez. Good. The catcher, number 13. Salvador. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A pitch out. The throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. A ball and a strike. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Here comes the one two. He is high and outside for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping in next, Carlos Santana. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. First offering. Now a check swing. Did he go around? No, says Kenny Jansen. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. The left-handed hitting left Andrew Benintendi stands in. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0-2 the count to Benintendi. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. A ball and two strikes now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Box fields it cleanly. Go on to Garrett, takes care of him, and that will end the inning. That brings up Mickey Mantle. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Mickey half of the first. The center fielder, Mickey Mantle. Now here's the pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Two and two the count. Into the windup and the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. 
Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Payoff pitch one more time. And he fouls this one off. And a fastball misses there, ball four. So now into the box is, is Andrew Jones. The right fielder, Andrew Jones. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. That is good. The first baseman, Lou. In now, Lou Gehrig. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. This is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. 2 0 count, runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. 3 0 pitch. Inside, he misses ball four. Now, with the plate, is Babe Ruth trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revolve. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. High in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. So now here is Alfonso Soriano looking to put them ahead the early with this at-bat. Alfonso. From the stretch. Hit back toward the mound. Fielded cleanly. There's one on the first. Man alive. What a double play. And the inning is over. Whit Merrifield next to hit. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. That's inside. 2 0. And there's the first strike, 2 1. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. You got him to go down after that one, and it's 2 and 2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Ready with another 2 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Ready now is Michael Taylor. The center fielder, number two. Michael A. Taylor. And now the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Catfish is a guy that's able to keep the bat off the ball. That's kind of the name of the game for a pitcher, and as a starter, it really helps him work deep into games. Matty V, one of the toughest parts about scoring runs is bunching three or four hits together an inning, and that's one of the things this guy does really well. He's tough to hit, and he's really tough to get three or four hits off of. That's one of the reasons why he's one of the better pitchers. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. The right Digging in will be Number Ryan O'Hearn. 
First offering on its way. Hey. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And another foul ball. Ready with another 0-2. Oh. Change up, and he ain't buying it one and two. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Batting nine, the pitcher, number 43, Carlos Hernandez. Standing in now, Carlos Hernandez, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now and here's the left handed hitting shortstop D.D. Gregorius now. That's shortstop. Infield shifted TV. well to the right. Here's the Red first pitch. Warrior. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. And he misses with it 1 and 1. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So bases are empty with one gone and standing in the veteran switch hitter Jorge Posada and a fastball to start things out here not close it's a ball and no strikes. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Hey be on the lookout right here usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking now he'll try and throw it in the dirt get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Swing and a liner. Taylor is there. Two gone. Here's the Hall of that Famer Wade Boggs. Trying to make something happen hey. with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. One and two now. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Line to the right side. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Counts even two and two to Boggs. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. So here now is the pitcher, Batting Catfish up. Hunter. The pitcher, Catfish Hunter. From the stretch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Swinging a soft liner, and as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez. First pitch on its way. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start to third. Now One out, base is empty, and striding toward Adelberto. the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. First offering on its way. 
Now the pitch. Hey. I got one ball, one strike. Ah, uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Oh, one's the count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. of the third now and that'll bring in Mickey Mantle the center fielder Mickey Mantle first offering fouled away hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. The 1-1. One, one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One away. Now one now down that. with the bases right empty. Two. And that'll Andrew. bring up Andrew Jones. Jones. First pitch of the A-B on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Fouled off. Now the three and two pitch. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his no, man throw a lot of pitches four. as he toughs out a wall. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lou Gehrig is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2 0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. There's a strike. It's 2 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Lopez has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Number three. Next, it'll be Babe, Babe Ruth. 0 for 1 here in the Ruth. early going. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And this is low, ball one. Not close. It's 2 0. Oh. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they won't get him at third. Their runners at the corners here with two gone. Now back, second baseman. Oh, let's go. The next batter is Alfonso Soriano. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And a disastrous time to uncork a wild pitch as the go ahead run scores from third. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Oh. 
And there's ball two now. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The set and the 2 2. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. And it's 0 1 to the Kansas City first baseman. 1 and 1. Two and one to the Royals first baseman. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The two two one more time. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a two two pitch, right? But that one was so low. I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Once again, a 3 2. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Into right field, that's a base hit. Now batting, left field, Andrew Benintendi. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. In there, one and one. Santana gets his lead at first, nobody out. Runners on the move for second. He swings and misses, throw down. He's in time, and Posada nails his man at second. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pop straight up. Hunter will take charge himself out there, and there's two down. With Merrifield next to bat, he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. On the ground, softly towards second. Throw on to Garrick, takes care of him, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll Didi. bring up Didi Gregorius. Not shortstop. Didi Gregorius. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. O'Hearn is there to put it away for route number one. Striding in is Jorge Posada. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. The pitch. First pitch here misses wide. 1-0. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. 
Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring up one of the members of the 3,000 hit club Hall of Famer, Wade Boggs. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Goose Gossage, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Michael Taylor. The center fielder, number two, Michael A. Taylor. Now the first pitch. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Taylor is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But of course, these days, there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this. But man, does he come to work every day and play hard. Got him to miss Number the breaking 66. ball there. Michael Taylor is retired to lead off the fifth. First pitch on the way. Ryan O'Hearn will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. And this is why you come to the game right here. I'll tell you what, this is an absolutely great matchup. A couple alpha dogs out there. That probably won't be the last fastball we're going to see. Next up for the Royals, the pitcher, Carlos Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. A ball and a strike to count to the Royals pitcher. We got a ball, one strike. Fastball called strike. One and two. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he, if he's able to execute with that type of... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Whitey Ford will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Whitey Ford. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seam. Low. Steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Yellow. As he'll go after a curveball off the plate, it's strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now batting. Next right to hit Andrew, Andrew Jones. He'll attempt to put the ball Jones. in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. A good tailing fastball for a strike one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Garrett Cole takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Garrett. Top half of the sixth about to get started and stepping up as the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Softly hit toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So stepping in is Adalberto Mondesi. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Taken but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. So it was a swinging strike three. Adalberto Mondesi sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Salvador Perez behind in the count, nothing in two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Kyle Zimmer enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45. Kyle. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Leading off. Pitch on Duke. the way. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now the 1 0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. In there for strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Here it comes. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. And gone! An absolute bomb. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so he waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Now that the second base at the plate now Alfonso Soriano as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far and he won't bite at that one either it's 2 and 0 this inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there as a reliever you can't let that happen nothing you can do about what's already happened and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box and he fouls this one off. 
the 3-1. Thank you. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. That's shortstop. GD. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two the gone. Catcher, number eight. Crash. David. Now a move over to first and the runner back easily. And now the first pitch and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. Two out with the man at first. Downstairs two balls and no strikes little slide step action there Dan. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Now back, the third baseman. Into the box, Wade, Wade Box. As he'll wow. take a breaking ball in off the plate for ball one. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart in the plate. Domingo Tapia is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 31, Domingo Tapia. To the plate now, Garrett Cole. The pitcher. He swings, Garrett. and it's a line drive to left center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now back. The center fielder. Joey. Here's Joey Gallo now. Gallo. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he lays off for ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Chopper to short. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. Now at the plate, Carlos Santana. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow someone can bop one and get them back in this. No balls and a strike to count. Hit on the ground toward the left. Boggs gloves it. And the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now to bat, okay. Andrew Benintendi. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. This one's down to third. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Up next, Whit Merrifield. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A 
little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Aaron. Here's the pitch. No Tapia, 28 years old, he throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a two seamer, and a changeup. Up top, it's 2 0. Oh. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1 pitch is taken, oh, ball three. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. And that misses, ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Anthony Rizzo. First pitch on its way. On the ground to third. To second for one. On to first, and Rizzo's retired as well. A double play. So base is empty now after now the double back. play. Let and that'll it. bring up the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 oh 1. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Grounded down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Mariano Rivera has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Rivera. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, Michael Taylor. Leading off for Kansas City, the center fielder, number two, Michael A. Taylor. And now the first pitch. Popped up. Soriano is there. He's got it one away. Stepping in once again is Ryan O'Hearn. One for two on his line so far in the game. He's set and the pitch. Just a bit too much run on the sinker that time as it misses off the outside for ball one. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. That's a good pitch to lay off right there at that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Three and one to him now. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Hanser Alberto will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Alberto. Now the first pitch as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Liner towards second but right there is the second baseman and that will retire the side. Wade Davis is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. 
Number At play four. now is Alfonso Three. Soriano. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First offering on its way. And a ball 1-0. Two and oh now. Now the pitch down low and the plot thickens here three and oh. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Taylor. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next to hit is Didi Gregorius. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First offering. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. One ball, one strike to count. Didi swings and belts a ball to right field. This is carrying well. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. The pitcher, number eight. Crash. Into the box now. Crash. Davis has the first pitch to him. It's a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan. What does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. And now in the box, now Wade Box comes eight. in one for two with eight. that home run he hit earlier. Four. Now here's the first offering. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Your this Chapman please. comes on from now the pen it. hoping to finish this All one off there. here in the top of the ninth. Chapman. Stepping in, Nicky Lopez. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. Nicky Lopez. Now the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Chapman, 33 years old. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and a splitter. Gets a small piece near the plate, but it gets fouled. Fouled off. The one two pitch. Grounded slowly to the left side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next to dig in, Adalberto Mondesi. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. First pitch of the AB on its way. Two balls and no strikes. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And he misses again with it here. It's 3 0 now. And the pitch. 3 1. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. 
ready now with the payoff pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Royals down to their final out. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 4 1. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. KC down to their final strike in this one. Still two and two. Now, what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Again, another foul ball. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Mm. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well we had two spring training division teams going at it in this one. Pretty much an even matchup on paper but at the end these guys come out on top and get a well earned victory. Seven to one the final today. Durham led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Goose Gossage gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team, seven runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For Kansas City, one run, four hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours exactly. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.